because we want to support marriage between one man and one woman. Yeah. Yeah. And parents help us understand who we are. The most significant question that people seek to answer, who am I? When we have competing human rights, as is asserted in the same-sex marriage debate, surely society should err on the side of the most vulnerable. In a family situation, which is what marriage creates, this is children. This is about the innate needs of children rather than the parenting skills of adults. It's about the innate needs of children. I might be a fantastic single mum, but I'll never be dad. Let's be honest. Marriage doesn't just impact the life of two people, but has a huge social impact upon society and especially upon children. This is a public matter. In real life, marriages do break down, and children are casualties of that breakdown. When children are separated from either their mum or dad, the natural diversity that nature provides, there is always pain and negative impacts upon children because of this deprivation, even when they go to a much safer place. I know that from my own personal experience, I had a loving nana, but she could never be the mum that I longed for, and she could certainly never be the dad that I never knew. Wherever possible, maintaining strong marriages that give children their identity, their heritage, their natural home, is very important. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes. The next best thing is an environment that models that natural diversity, and our laws should reflect the ideal and give Australian children the equal opportunity, at least in more, to that ideal. True, we need better marriages. What we don't need is to create more quasi-orphans and perpetuate identity confusion. This is not a heterosexual versus gay issue. This is not. There are many same-sex attracted people of goodwill that do not support changes to the Marriage Act. One such man is homosexual French Mayor Jean-Marc, who led in 2015 the march opposing same-sex marriage in Paris. And his catchphrase was, the rights of children trump the right to children. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Many other homosexuals agree. Katie Forst and Millie Fontana, who we'll hear from shortly, were raised by gay mums. They love their mums, of course, yet are leading opponents to gay marriage. It is not homophobia to support the rights of children. Right. We should listen to the children. Canadian author Dawn Stefanowicz, whose gay dad died of AIDS, said, and I quote, I never felt affirmed as a little girl because I didn't see my dad loving my mum. My dad only loved other men. She said, I did not see my gender being loved and affirmed or as being important. So this perpetuated gender confusion for Dawn. Dawn came to Australia to warn that what follows same-sex marriage is hate crime laws. She said, if you add sexual orientation as a protected category, you restrict freedom of speech, you restrict people like Dawn, Katie and Millie, who were raised in LGBT families, from telling their stories about things that were not so equal. Some people argue that the tradition of human experience from time immemorial is not enough reason to preserve marriage. That the personal stories about the pain of losing a parent, whether by death, divorce or contemporary design, is also not enough. But if this is so, then our national apology to the stolen generation in 2008 for robbing them of their heritage and biological roots is meaningless. And the national apology to the forgotten Australians in 2009 for their loss of family, identity, and in the case of child migrants, the loss of their country, is also meaningless. The truth is, if we can publicly recognise the complex issues people face in their lives from detached being detached from their heritage, detached from their biological roots and natural environment, 
How can we perpetuate this lie that children just need to be loved by someone? No, if past Prime Minister Kevin Rudd can say on record that the stolen generation are human beings who have been, and I quote, damaged deeply by the decisions of parliaments and governments, yeah. yes, That's right. then we should do well to consider that damage. It was the decision to remove children from their natural parents, their natural heritage, their natural home, and it is publicly acknowledged that even when they were loved by others, this did not negate the loss they suffered from this intervention to their natural life. While many children survive unfortunate circumstances with family breakdown, should we willfully perpetuate identity confusion? No! To conclude, Kevin Rudd promised Australians a future where all Australians, whatever their origins, are truly equal partners, with equal opportunities and with an equal stake in shaping the next chapter in the history of this great country, Australia. Therefore, Mr Rudd, let's give Australian children a fair go and give them that equal opportunity to what most kids really want, a mum and a dad.
when you cast your fears aside and you know you can survive so when you feel like hope is gone look inside you and be strong and you finally see the truth that a hero lies in you When you face the world alone, no one reaches out hand for you to hold. You can find love if you search within yourself, and the emptiness you found will disappear. And then a hero comes along with the strength to carry on, and you cast your fears aside, and you know you can survive. So when you feel like hope is gone, look inside you and be strong, and you finally see the truth that. God lies inside of you. Oh, Lord knows the dreams are hard to follow, but don't let anyone tear them away. But hold on, cause there won't be tomorrow. Parliament to see people gathered in support of maintaining the Marriage Act as it is. It's been a great crowd, a great lineup of people. Thank you to Unity Australia. Thank you to all the people that have come and given up their afternoon to make that stand and be a voice for children. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to say a real big thank you to all the participants, the speakers, uh, the people that have to overcome their own uh, personal fears to get on the platform, uh, the wonderful singer Georgette Zyrus and all the others, uh, Millie Fontana especially, uh, but everyone really who participated. Thank you so much.